What is up everybody, Ryan Blue back again with another video for you guys. Tank's Tiny Desk Concert is here and we are here to react to it. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I am Tank. Um, 23 years of uh, a lot of music, a lot of writing, a lot of producing, a lot of singing. Some of these songs make you want to make up. Some of these songs make you want to break up. And some of these songs make you want to participate in various sexual activities. So we gonna get right to it, Bob. Let's get to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so this is the band. So look, this is uh, the MVP band. This is what I was telling you guys about um, on the Babyface concert. That um, that band, who, uh, Babyface band, was super super solid. Charlie Wilson's band was super solid, especially that saxophone player. But um, I was, I, but this is before this was even announced. I was thinking that maybe Tank actually um, had a, uh, you know, I, I would think that you know with Tank involved that maybe Babyface. Um, and the MVP band would be, you know, kind of like meshed together. But I mean, of course, if Babyface tours with these, with, with his band, um, which it seems as jailed as they are, that that's exactly what happens. I mean, what can you really expect? But this is one of my favorite bands. Um, it's 1500 or nothing. Rest in peace, Chuck. Um, he's, he was the guitarist over at 1500 or nothing. Chris Payton is over there too. Um, Agape is like, he does his cameos, uh, but MVP band, Red Hand Band, if you guys know anything about them, those bands are solid, solid, solid bands. Um, and so Von, uh, Lachez, like I told you guys in the other videos, um, that, with Babyface doing some of those songs, like I wish I wanted to hear a lot more of um, Lachez's style of playing. It's one of the best guitarists I've ever uh, heard. And I mean, it's man, I just can't wait to get into it. I'm talking already. Let's just get into it. Oh, there's Luke. Okay. There you go. See? So Lachez has a style of playing where he has he uses octaves and then a volume pedal. So it makes it swells the uh the notes to where it almost sounds it stops sounding so much like a guitar than a actual um I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it sounds like a completely different instrument. Uh, you, you, I'm sure, I'm sure, because he's doing it already. I'm sure we're gonna hear that um, going further in this uh, video. Let's do it. Okay, so he's doing like a mashup, which is which is what I really like because you could get more in. Um, it's it's you could get more songs in. Um, like I said, with Charlie Wilson's, like I don't have anything against it 
it was a perfect performance. But what I wished was that he did a little bit more hip hop and that would have to be mashed in or, uh, yeah, it would have to be mashed, not full songs necessarily, but just the parts that you were in onto the next one, the parts you were in onto the next one. But he really stayed on the R&B side of it. Um, but I, I like this. I like I like where it's going so far. Yeah. Wow. He gives the Jimmy Fox vibe a little bit. too like the um some of the band is actually uh brothers um i know von i believe the bass player it looks like the drummer is too maybe even the keyboard player as well but i know the drum uh von and uh which is the um, music director and um the bass player are brothers um so it's really i mean it's just really dope it's just you can see how well they mesh everybody meshes well extremely well they look like brothers honestly oh <laughs> See, see, this is what I'm this I'm telling you, Bob, man, this dude, this dude is something else, man. He has this talk box like um, machine that he's using. Anytime he has that headphone, you know you about to, you you know you hear you you you. Anytime you see him with this head, this headpiece that he has right here, you know you in for a good time. Let's continue. And you can kind of, we're going to go back a little bit. You can kind of hear like the harmonies that he's doing with that talk box. Oh, my brother, Come on, girl, turn the lights down. Let's get naked. Oh. Ooh. Baby girl, you just can't take it. So look, this is one of my favorite. This was like, so in high school, I think everybody has that one album, one artist, one song, at least one album, at least one artist, one song that they connect to the most um, during high school. Um, this is one of those songs for me. Like, of course, like Kanye, um, uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is the album for me that I connect with the most. Um, between that and 808s and Heartbreak, but um, this this song, uh, Latoya Luckett, uh, Regret. I I was never going through any any of what she was singing about, but for whatever reason, just just the um, production, her singing, just really. Um, engraved in my mind and it's really one of my it's 
It's one of my favorite songs of that time because it takes me all the way back to high school. Um, this song, Kelly Price, You're Not My Daddy. Uh, there's another song um, by Monica. Uh, she was in the, there was a music video that she had um, where she was in the courtroom. I forgot, I forgot the name of it. But um, but those three specific songs in R and B had a chokehold on me, and it just brings me back to that time. Um, old Redford Academy, but um, but yeah. Anyway. This bad man. Hold on. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just the... Oh, man. Mm. something to say about that musical bed um that's just laid i mean i, I you i guess let's go back so just so you guys can hear what i'm saying like there's no space it's just that musical bed There you go. I mean, come on, man. This is this is this is this is crazy. Um, I would say Kerry Marshall, Kerry Too Smooth. A lot of people know him as uh, Kerry Too Smooth, and uh, Lachez are the hugest reasons why I play 
um, or why I like PRS. PRS just has that sweeter, that sweet sound. Um, there's a YouTube video that they, that Lachez has. Uh, it's by Tim Rogers and the Fellas. It was a cover of Tim Rogers and the Fellas. Um, I'll have a link in the description for you guys. But it's just one of the, like, he plays, he started playing quartet um, and then developed into this style of playing that he's doing now. But you can still hear some of the quartet um, licks, uh, specifically even in that song. Um, like I said, heavy influences, man. I'm a huge fan, but uh, let's continue. Let's go back a little bit so you can hear what he's doing. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You hear him? We, we turn the tiny desk into a big nasty desk. I'm sorry. Y'all call me. That run, that run, he does something extremely similar. Do 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 do. Oh man, I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna have a link in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. But man, it's just it's amazing to see like that, you know. And that's what I teach in my videos that you can once you learn these chords, these guitar chords, um, you can use them for gospel, R and B, um, quartet, uh, rock. I mean, you can use these chords. Um, and that's what I teach. I mean, and he's self-taught. He doesn't even know how he he doesn't know how to read um, music sheets and stuff. He's not like classically trained. He plays by ear, which is another thing why he's so great. I think personally. Um, but let's continue. Oh, you want another button? Another button? I know what you like. Okay, they got a new feel for this thing. so unique about this was was really interesting about this is like you hear the um the progression but it's being played in a guitar uh it's like an acoustic guitar but then you have the guitar that now almost sounds like a keyboard like, i mean it's one of the more like this is this is what makes it and it's full it's on full volume but this is what makes it very, very unique that he could switch in and out like that. So let's get, let's go back so that we can hear. That sound, those are keyboard chords or sound. Why you have the keyboard with the regular, you know, plucking acoustic sound. Yeah, 
Yep. And this is this style. This style of playing is like is George Benson esque because he plays with a lot of octaves. Is uh, uh, not Joe Pass. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the other guitars from way back when, but he did a lot of um, octave playing as well. Um, but this just takes it to another level because you use the volume pedal, which you which swells it more, which almost makes it sound like um, someone singing. Like I said, it doesn't it stops sounding like an actual guitar and sounds like a like a different instrument. Excuse me, instrument almost maybe like a flute a little bit. to play and then when you think outside the box is this I mean there's nothing more to say really I mean it's just absolutely outstanding I mean this is just crazy it's absolutely insane um, even the truck like for me like if I'm playing I'm trying to figure out if I would actually I mean there's no way that you know um, I don't know. I think you have to have like uh, extra mental capacity to be able to say like, instead of going the regular route, I'm going to add this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. This, this, this man, this, hey, this is why this is, this is why who they are. You know what I mean? a bass mod that's another bass mod charlie wilson's bass player had a bass mod as well one of them anyway that was fire we love to pay homage to the oldies i'm gonna take y'all back some of y'all but y'all wouldn't cuddle again you know what i'm saying bro give me something from that michelle and diggle cello here i sit outside your
Telling you, NPR Tiny Desk has really been on a roll this year with the um, was it Black Music History Month? Um, shout out to them for even recognizing that. Um, I mean, back to back, we got Babyface, Charlie Wilson, Tank. Choose one at this point, whichever one you can't go wrong with. Um, but I mean, let's go. Let's go over the uh, musicians here. For vocals, obviously, Tank, Lonnie, uh, Be Real with the vocals, Brooke Valentine, vocals, Luke James, vocals, Lachez, Holloway, guitar, Alex Hill uh, on the keys, uh, Vaughn Hill with, on the keys. Remember, I was telling you guys that they're uh, brothers, the drums, um, Jimmy Hill, uh, Arthur Jones on the bass. So, very, at least, Family oriented. I think I was saying in the beginning that uh, maybe the bass player and the drummer were brothers, but it looks like um, I mean they're all family. You know they they've been um, this MVP band for a little while now. So, uh, but you can actually hear that though. You can hear that family couldn't make them any closer. They gel extremely well, and it's just amazing to hear. Um, very talented musicians able to stay in their lanes and bring um, a song to life. There's been plenty of bands that I've been a part of um, that, you know, uh, you have some excellent musicians, but they tend to outshine each other. It's almost like a competition. I've been guilty of it as well, so I'm not gonna just point the finger. I think every musician has to get to has to go through that to get to this point. Um, and man, they got it. So shout out to them, the MVP band. I'm trying to figure out who I would want to see next here um, on the Tidy Desk. Um, obviously, I want to I want to see 1500 or nothing. I want to see, um, but as far as the band, and I want to see, I know we're never going to get a Jay-Z. <laughs> A Jay Z fifteen hundred or nothing collab. Um, it would have to be something like a, like a Just Blaze fifteen hundred or nothing, like a producer in fifteen hundred or nothing. Um, I'm just trying to think. Um, maybe I don't know. I think I think Tiny Dust did something with Snoop already, but anyway, I'm gonna have the links in the description below so you guys could check. Uh, Lachez out. Uh, like I said, he's he's a real cool dude, down to earth. Like we don't talk often, but when we do, it's always love. He's very humble, man. Very humble. So shout out to him. Shout out to the band. Shout out to Tank. Shout out to uh, uh, Lonnie, right? Lonnie, uh, Luke, and Brooke. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Um, and drop in the comments who you guys want to see next. I, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So I'm just, I'm really excited to see what's next on the menu. Um, and actually too, I don't know how many people were, this was the first time that I've seen somebody promote that they were dropping a tiny desk, um, which Tank did um, for at least a week now. Very, very interesting. I've never seen it. I just see it on my feed, you know, on YouTube. So I was I was looking forward to this one. They said it was dropping at 5 a.m. I tried to get up. Well, I actually was up, but you know, I, I needed I needed this on full blast to fully enjoy it. And I did. Um, so I waited until later on in the day. Um, and it was worth it, man. Very, very worth it. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, subscribe to the channel. 
This is the only channel where you're gonna be getting videos like this, guitar lessons, guitar covers, and so much more. Until next time, peace.